So um, there may be some people listening who are not aware of you and your work. So I suppose the first question that I would like to ask you is, what was your story and how did that lead you to doing the work that you have spent many, many years doing? What a great question. And I should have expected this question, but, but I didn't. Uh, my story was, um, okay, uh, I spent the first three and a half years of my life in a concentration camp. Then I spent the next three years in Indonesia in a war-torn zone. Then I was sent to foster care in Holland for two years. And by that time, I was um, one ball of anger, rage, fury, depression, etc. And the story, of course, is I had a horrible childhood. This was all done to me. I'm a victim. And I can tell you how I'm a victim. And I can convince you of the fact that I'm a victim in no time. And then you'll feel sorry for me. And I will misinterpret that as love. Um, and so my story, if, if let's maybe go back a little bit to the essence of our work. And the essence of our work is really simple. It's this. As a little, per little person, say from the age of zero to eight, things happen around you. Your, your mom or your dad say things, that happens uh, things in your environment. And each of those events is interpreted by the small person as meaning something about them. And so that means that every interpretation that I make of an event at, in those early years solidifies into a core belief. That core belief will then continue to run the show till I wake up and say, this is not working for me. And, of course, when I first started doing my work, I didn't know why it wasn't working for me because I had no idea that who I thought I was had absolutely nothing to do with who I was. Mm -hmm. 